This is RJ Radio. Who here is interested in seeing some flippy, spinny shit? Only on Live365.com. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. The following program is brought to you in living color. Y'all ready for this? Here we come. Good morning. Good morning. Wake me up. Good morning. This is fun. To a million pieces Like you always do Good morning everyone It is Roy and Jim in the morning here on the 12th of November oh, 2019, holy smoke 1, 2, 11 uh, uh, 11, 1, 2, 1, 9 Whew. My name is Roy Brewster and this is Mr. <laughs> Good morning, I am Jimmy Shaw, top of the 210 in Ranch Cucamonga. Your happy, happy Tuesday on this uh, this time change, getting adjusted week, almost Thanksgiving already. Stop. Right? You can stop. What are we, two weeks away? You can, you can, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, oh boy. Oh boy, I tell you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't, uh, it's, it's like, um, oops, it's that time. I just uh, had to, I just had to change the date on the, uh, the, fa- or the YouTube live because we weren't going to be on, so I changed the date and looked at it. We're a week in the future, so that's all adjusted now. Oh, okay. Well, that's So cool. now we're good. Now it's actually today, not next week. There's uh, OG Donna and Mama Sita in the uh, chat room. Uh, b- uh, good morning. And speaking of Thanksgiving, I will be up at my sister's uh, for this year. I think it's been about, I think I went up there maybe six, seven years ago. Up in the old uh, Land of Lincoln. Up Land of Lincoln. Up in the, the great white north, I call it. Because, you know, I don't venture past San Francisco most of the time. Any of the times. Any of the times. I love these mics. I'm just like, well, you know what? Today, honestly, mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Did you change anything? Because today it's actually I listened when I had to take the phone call yesterday. Yeah, I listened out there while Don was listening. Right. Whew. Sounded good. Difference, right? Right. But today, now it sounds different to me, like even better to me than it did yesterday. Because we're getting used to it there, and and it, it's all about right here. I, I all back here. Either that, or I did use a Q-tip in the ear today. Oh, well, there you go. A little wax impact right there. <laughs> All these factors. But no, I, I I just love these things. So we are, I believe I'm done with our upgrades, right? I think so. Yes. I believe in these kind of upgrades, yeah. Do, 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 do. Hey, and there's Lisa. Good morning, Lisa. I'm looking for the uh, um, YouTube chat, you know? Yeah. And uh, it's not coming up for me yet. And I don't know why it does that, um, but it does. If I open my browser after I start the streaming, and since I this is one of my favorites, then the alert will be up there for me. Well, I'm logged out. Oh, I see. Because I, when Donna comes in there, I want to be able to let her log in. I'm, gotcha. I'm, I'm, I'm stepping in just for a moment. Yes, Roy's, Roy's been called off to adult stuff, so you guys are stuck with. Oh, my God. Just Jimmy. Oh, my God. What are well, you guys going to do? It's in Donna, too, but I thought she was going to be here on time, 7.04. She'll the, anything before is on time, and she's she <laughs> she texted me. She says, "I'm awake." I said, "Well, that's that's the first step of admitting your problems." Let me let me look. <laughs> Get the got a long enough cord there. I will have to say though, I am. I got impressed yesterday. We moved your big old toy trailer, mobile, homish thing, and you you got that thing up like a cat hair. <laughs> away from that gutter and i'll tell you what the impress i you know me we get impressed by this stuff it, right that was dude that was awesome yeah that was awesome well thank you sir um i i was uh you and don actually are probably the best couple for doing something like that right usually it's the yelling and the screaming what are yeah. you talking about and and it, it, i said because don says jimmy can you help 
And I said, well, you do what you do. Right. I will be on the other side and I will work with Dawn, not interrupt the flow. Right. And, you know, until you hear me going, no, 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 no. Well, the, the and the funny thing was, is, you know, we got it in there pretty, I mean, we're like, I don't know, about an inch away from the house on one side. And it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's, it's pretty, tight, pretty tight. Um, as we're backing in, a cement truck on the 210 freeway decides to blow a tire. Lost it. It was this big sonic boom. And you don't want to be around a big toy trailer when that happens because Don looked north, I looked south. <laughs> We're like, Roy just put it into the house. <laughs> so I figured this huge crash, it sounded like a dumpster. Someone dropped it like a free fall. Oh, my God. Roy's calm is collected in the, oh, someone blew a tire in the freeway. I'm like, are you kidding me? What kind of tire is that? So, well, so about yeah. an hour later, I'm leaving to go home. I hit the freeway, and there's this huge cement truck with a blown ass tire down. It was shredded too. Well, yeah. did you see the couple people come down the street? That's right. Yeah, they're like, looking Whoa. around. No, it was just it was incoming. Just a, tire. just a tire. Incoming. Uh, it's unfair because I used to when I worked at uh, the auto dealer there on the 210 freeway. Yes, we pretty much overlooked the 210. Right, right there in uh, Monrovia, and probably twice a month. We'd have a truck just explode a tire on the freeway. Yeah. So kind of got used to it. Sure. So you, it's like, I know, you know, the boom and then exactly. the tire. So it just was like, hey, I know what that is. Me and Don, like I said, she looked north, I looked south. We're just ducking. Shoulders went down first. We're like, okay, we're in. We're done. We're toast. Yeah, it was, it was pretty. And then I saw on the neighborhood app, someone posted, did you hear the big boom, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I posted on it. And then I looked at it. They were talking about like 2.30 in the morning the other day. So I had to remove my post. Oh, gotcha. It was the wrong one. But I, I'm guessing it was probably the same thing. Yeah, it had to be. Because Don said, it sounded like when a transformer explodes. I said, yeah, they're loud, man. They're oh, pretty that, violent. That was crazy loud. Yeah. I hate so, to be, the, I hate to be the, uh, the vehicle next to that one, that uh, kablooey went kablooey. Yeah. Yeah, no, not good. But yeah, yeah. but you're right. You, you nailed it. As soon as I got on the freeway, there, there it is. Shredded all the hell. No kidding. Good call. Well, back. good morning, OG Donna and Mom and Lisa. It's good to see your smiling chat faces. Oh, look at there. Kimberly Black jumped in the room, too. Holy That's moly. That's awesome. Look at this. We're going to give her a little shot of uh, Selexa or Prozac or something this morning. We're gonna little, we'll give her a little happiness juice. <laughs> That's right, or Prozac. We're the, the Prozac. Prozac in the morning. For uh, for uh, Corpus Christi and all vicinities right there. Uh, speaking of Texas, my buddy John lives just north of Austin. Sent me a pic last night. He goes, I did not move here for this shit. And then showed me a picture of his snow-covered truck. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So and I had, I, had a, I had a quick thinking. I may go out and visit him soon. And I'm like, hmm. Yeah. It's, like yeah. a, it's like my family in Connecticut. See you around spring. Yeah, maybe you need to shoot over some happiness juice over to John there. Send John a, a couple of sticks so he can make his... Uh, his uh, castaway fire. Yeah. Yeah, just so he can be... Uh, That'd be nice. You know, a little, little something for the mittens. Yeah. Keep uh, mitten free. Yeah, because if you want to get some happiness, we got the juice for you. <laughs> and boy, do we. <laughs> we got some, got some juice. It's a little harder to milk today than sure. it was a year back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it would just, we'd shoot happiness juice on people where they weren't expecting it. Or within, and no one had any idea except ourselves. Yeah, we just knew about our own juice. That's where the, the, the old uh, trademark peachy folder came in handy. Uh, way back in the day, like way, way, way back in the day. I mean, sometimes I'd just wake up in the morning and happiness was shot everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back in the day. I, uh, I've got live updates. Uh, Donna is driving, and so that's, that's, that's good. What the fuck? And it's bad because she's, she texted that while she was driving. So hopefully that was at a... A stop so yeah and it's the other side bad is uh i was planning on leaving nine minutes ago you can leave anytime no these, I, these, I, these, I, these guys I, got me right you guys are gonna stay with me i i just it just uh. you guys are gonna and i know we're we're we're, we're, we're martin and lewis we're, we're laurel and hardy we are uh we are we're uh, what chuck diesel and buck acosta we <laughs> they got that fight coming again right buck we got buck coming back no no there was the last fight they weren't gonna no do i mean B buck's got another thing coming no up. they weren't gonna do anymore no, he. I know, I know. But but Roy, Roy, I know, I, I, but I, Roy. I, I was being smartass because it's like this is it, but, no more. Yeah, true. And then and then he got and then he well, it, I guess he got wifey talked into another one. Well, I, I got a and, great, he got a great response. And he said, and he said, this is definitely it. <laughs> <laughs> so that conversation probably didn't go the best. Yeah. Uh, but it went enough where he's going to be able to beat the shit out of someone again. Um, I missed that about, I mean, a great football game last night, right? Oh, God, the God. Monday Night Football, the, the, the Seahawks and the 49ers. So congratulations to 
Sean's lovely wife, Robin. That, yeah. that, that's her team right there. Yeah. Uh, big, uh, big uh, condolences to Ariana and Trucker Matt Aldridge. Uh, devastating blow, but what a season you guys are having, especially in comparison to the last two, three years. Right. So you guys are still contenders. You're still top of the top of the tops. Well, the way I see it, but I love a good football game. The way I see it, um, first of all, the old 1972 Miami team leftover guys they just put up a big old glass of champagne and went whatever <laughs> you, <laughs> right. didn't, you didn't catch us yeah but it, it might be one of those things that um and we've seen it before it's good for you to focus mm -hmm. to get back on it now it's good for trucker matt good for ari um here's the problem what's the problem watching last night yeah um you know big Steeler fan here yeah yeah we, we had our battle sunday and uh don is uh, watching the game with us Sure. Uh, with me. And she's really getting into it. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And she's like really into it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. She really doesn't have a home team. A, a She Correct. does. She, she'll watch a game. Correct. And she'll say, hey, what's Oh, up? my God. Someone, someone. So um, it's like oh, it's like Donna used to be. Um, so now you're just wrecking shit. So um, <laughs> what she. So as she's watching and really enjoying the hell out of it. Right. Uh, she looks at me and goes, you know, I, I think maybe. Since my first game was at San Francisco, at the state just now this year, see a Steeler game, Levi Stadium. She goes, maybe you know, maybe Forty uh, ers should be my team. <laughs> How dare you! What? What the fuck? That's like a uh, she challenged you to a duel. I'm like, but what? <laughs> and then she went, you know, it's it's even good to have a little rivalry in the house. And then I'm like, all right, you know what? You asked for it. If that's the way it's gonna be, oh, it's brutal. That's it, the way it's gonna baby, be. That's Don, the way it's gonna be. Now here's the deal: you want to spice up the relationship, do not go against Rory and the Steelers. You know, pull up some uh, some soft porn, or you know, get a magazine. You know, spice it up that way, but not the Steelers. Midget porn. She turned off. <laughs> she turned off. She turned off. Uh, she turned off on the Steelers. It was it was sad. She. I mean. Yeah, that, that, I, I was, I, I I was, was speechless. Surprised. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not surprised. That makes me laugh because you know I'm in a uh, I'm in a dual team relationship. Oh yeah, with uh, baseball and football, right? So, and they're all dicks, so I have to, you know. Well, the one thing I have my fate going for me though huh. is you guys baseball. Yeah, same league, same conference. It's true. Football. Oh, same league, same conference. Yes. The only thing I have going for me is we have AFC, NFC. <laughs> That's true. So you know, we we I mean, we did play each other this year, right? Um, but uh, are we are we are we yeah? So um, maybe down the road we play again could be good, like for a Super Bowl thing. Sure. But normally it's not really that thing. Yeah, it, it, same with us. It, it, baseball and football. When it gets down to it, the big game. Right. It's it's one of us. It's not both. But you guys are fighting for divisions during the year, too. Yeah, so it gets one. a little touchy. You get some good shit, yeah. Get some good shit. Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, um, 7-14. Um, <laughs> Roy's, Roy's going to have to depart with I'm us. I'm going to miss all you. But you know what? The, 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 the tender moments we shared this morning, Roy, and they're just minutes. I will cherish them like they're hours. I'm going to listen for the road. I'm going to do some road stuff. You know you can call. I, I'm not do that. You know the shit works. So you know, Donna, I've got the uh, sig alert, the count, the the days and stuff. He's got you hooked. I got up. I got the countdown right. ready. I've got Skype ready, and I've got the YouTube. You just need to sign in. But... Cool. Look at I that. I got all yeah. these windows. Play with all these windows you need. On this one, I, I can only hear in my left. Ear. That's right. Uh, gonna, I had the same. Okay. I had the same thing yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can hear much better today. Uh, Q-tip is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took care of my ear. That's what it feels Whoa, like. I went away. It feels like I need to. Yeah. E -e 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 -e. <laughs> Whoa. We were talking about. We were talking <laughs> about that before you got here. We <laughs> we spray we spray happiness juice on you everybody. A, you need a little uh, WD-40 there yeah, or something. Yeah. Donna. Get that squeak out of there. Your, your little squeaker's a little down. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, you have a good morning. I'm going to listen to the road. I got to go do some adult stuff and uh, hopefully make some money so that uh, 49er fan, fan, apparently my house, doesn't kick the Steeler fan to the road. That's kind of how it works. Yeah. It was um, done. Yes, you did. I'm very proud. She said, turned on the Steelers. Yes. 
uh, just tuned in, turned on, turned on the Steelers. Yeah, mm-hmm. what I was talking about is you yesterday going, well, you know, since I went to San Francisco, maybe, you know, I should be a San Francisco fan. Um, and she go, she she used to go to San Francisco a lot for the the conferences, so she's so like, you know, I get it, California girl, Northern girl. Tide, you know, I, I hey. understand it, but hey, if there's gonna be a little bit of barbin, don't come crying to me. It could be so much worse twice. She could either have picked the freaking Chargers. Or the Raiders. Oh, oh, oh. So. Chargers, I could have laughed at her a lot. Yeah. But if she picked the Raiders. Um, Separate rooms. I'm, that... No, I, I'm, I, we, we'd have to be talking to a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, old. don't do that. I'm going to lose the studio. <laughs> right. We'd talk to a lawyer. It's I'm a deal, be, deal breaker. We're, 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 <gasps> oh. Donna and I are the children. And uh, yep, that's right. There you go. Get, get, get in there, baby. Or see, the Rams. That I, baby. See, Jimmy's a Rams I'll, fan. I'll take it. There you go. So now I'm, you can I'm be fine with that. There you go, baby. And her dad's a Rams fan. Yeah. So I don't know. I kind of, I kind of would make she, it. She, she dips her toe, and she's she, figured it and out. And then she goes in. She goes in fully committed. Well, I like that she's not just bandwagoning. Right. And I also like that she's not following me to a team. That's okay. Right. You know, just like, well, my husband did it, I did. So to, for her to have her own, that's cool. Right. Um, but uh, here's my problem with the Rams. Seven. I was a Rams fan. Before they moved. Before they moved. When they moved, I told them, you know what? You quit me, you're dead to me. <laughs> and then they won in St. Louis, which was hard. Yeah. I, was, I mean, I stayed true and blue Steelers, even though. And then now they're back, and it's like, well, you should be a Rams fan again. You know what? No, that's like having that girlfriend that you like you had a horrible breakup with, and then she comes back and goes, I'm sorry. You know what? Sorry, I ain't got no happy juice for you. Get the f- <laughs> pack sand, buddy. You're out of here. Well, maybe just once or twice. <laughs> Let it go, Donna. <laughs> uh, well, Ari, it is a pleasant surprise. Thank you so much for saying that, uh, even though you're delightful. a Frisco fan, too. <clears throat> but uh, I got to go do some adulting now. So you guys be good. I'll listen from the road. Um, we'll talk to y'all soon. I'm going to hit you with this one now. Hit him, baby. Love you. But then it's going to happen later. So Exactly. And, and right. you're, you're hitting baby proxy right here. That's yeah, me. Being Miss uh, Donna Main right there. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get in Clyde uh, and God, go. Godspeed on your travels, my friend. Yes. Those boop, roads. Boop, boop. Those roads are hell. Godspeed to you, my friend. Yeah. Give us a give us a traffic report, oh, Roy. Yes. All right, Donna. I'm gonna have you pop over there. Okay. Go ahead and keep your headphones. <clears throat> La da dee. Transferring control. <clears throat> Look at that. Every time Roy leaves, you, my dear, get command central. All the good stuff. I like this feeling of power. <laughs> the power. <laughs> you, you should see her. She, she, her shoulders are up. She's like, oh, yeah. she's uh, a little uh, back straightened up. She's uh, like, uh, here we go. And, 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 and Roy uh, warmed the seat up for you right there. Yeah, he did. Well, good morning, Donna Main. <laughs> good morning, Jimmy It is Shaw. Uh, another rare version of uh, Donna and Roy in the or yeah. Donna and Jimmy in the morning. <laughs> Donna and Roy. I'm like, took myself out of it. I look. I'll take Roy's meeting. You two have a good time Whoever right here. Whoever you want to be today, <laughs> it's, it's, you be you be who you want. Well, to see, be, you get Jimmy. to be Don over here, but then you get to be Donna Roy over here, and the, Donna Roy, <laughs> Donna Roy with the, the, the command central going on right here. Me, yeah. I gotta stay right here. Well, you know, one day I should do this. Maybe next time I like have a uh, if, if I'm like ill, like I have a flu, the cold, and I usually say, "Listen, guys, I can't do it." Mm-hmm. I think I'll come in anyways and have you guys do the show, and I'll just run it all quiet over here. Because okay. you two haven't done a solo one together, and I'll bring a, uh, I'll bring some Lysol spray. Well, yeah, and I'll put myself <laughs> back here. But you know, I think it'd be fun to see uh, to have well, you yeah, two. Well, yeah, we we yeah. you and Roy have not done one by yourself. Yes, but we don't want you to have the flu or anything. But you know, sometimes you know, hey, I'm not feeling I know, good. Sometimes I can't come in. Things but happen. I, I I feel bad when you guys can't be on the radio just because of me. You're right. gone. I we can right. still do it. Roy's gone. We can still do it. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm like, no. oh, okay. Well, no, I, you it's... know that 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 God complex. Well, too bad, fellas. Yeah, yeah. Not today. The brains of the operation. The, the, the brains, the the wires yeah. and the hookies and the lovely. Oh God, I love these things. I know see, these are these are so cool looking. Now you can. It's just, like now to see this is how the like Roy. At, mm-hmm. the, at the 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 chaotic place, right? You can get right on it, right here. And he's so used to being right here. Mm-hmm. But on the, the other mics, we couldn't do that because he just blow the shit out of everyone's ears. But yeah. these right here, you just come right in. Yeah. Play with your voice. You can these go back are... here. You can yeah, do. They're, they're you, really uh, kind of space age looking. Yeah. Too. You can say hi to John Kavari. Cool. Good morning, John. Oh. Yes. Good morning, John. Oh God. 
Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at you, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Oh, yeah. She gave me the she gave me the updates, texted me. She goes, I am awake. I said, get some clothes on and get your ass over here. <laughs> and you did well. So congratulations, oh, Donna Maiden. thank you. Because yes. I'm like, yes, hey, uh, I, good girl. You. Good girl. This round I of just, applause. I, thanks for the standing O. The standing O? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we have a uh, we have Tuesday the the twelfth. It's November twelfth already. Uh, it's already coming through. We were uh, two Pretty... weeks away from uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, that is coming quickly. Like I, I was telling Roy, I'm going up to uh, Sacramento. I'm going to spend it with my sister, brother in law, niece. Mm. Me and Mama are hitting the road. Oh, well, good for you guys. Me and Mama Sita are going to hit the road. And yeah. she, <laughs> she, she I saw my mom the other day. She goes, "Can we take my car?" She's got the brand new car. I'm like, She's the nice one. Yeah, yeah I'm like, yeah. hell yeah, we're taking yeah. you. We're going to break that baby oh, in. Yeah. Got car play. Yeah. It's all brand new. Like, oh, yeah, let's, that's... let's open this baby up. It's fun. Road trips are fun when you got, you know, somebody to talk to and, yeah. and, and, and play music with and and a nice, comfortable car. Right. And then it's like, oh, I did this a, is great. Back this when I was great. younger, I, did a, uh, I lived out in Arizona uh-huh. and went to school out there. So I did a lot of back and forth by myself. Mm-hmm. You get used to that. But then when you have someone with you, even if they fall oh, asleep so, while you're driving. It's so much better yeah. when there's somebody else. Yeah. Like Ariana yeah. goes to sleep in like minutes. <laughs> and even if you got someone, if they're sleeping, at least you got someone there when you know, some shit goes down. You're right. Like, right. Like, yeah. Did you fucking see that? Right. And, hey, we got yes. a flat. Get out there and start walking. Yeah. Yeah, whatever you need to, honey, go jack the car up. I'll watch everything here. Right. She'd do it. That's <laughs> after beating the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, I, somehow I I can understand that. Let's yeah. go ahead and have you yeah. sign into the old uh, uh, the old YouTube over to there you go. You know what's going on. I do. So Donna Main's in the control. I'm gonna flip. Uh, we're gonna flip some stuff on now. Usually when Roy's gone, we flip it up. You'll do the traffic. I'll mm-hmm, do the weather. Mm-hmm. Got a couple surprises yeah. for you. We're gonna. Uh, Look at the scared uh-oh, face. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, Whatever Roy okay. does, Roy does for you. I'm talking okay. about I'm talking about show stuff. Oh, okay. You know, actual okay. tangible <laughs> stuff right here, Donna. <laughs> it's Roy there. So what's it's going like, on, everybody? It's like, I I haven't had enough coffee yet for that. <laughs> now see, now everybody, you can all ask Donna a lot of questions right now because Donna is usually. We're already usually going by the time Donna gets here. But look at this. It's, just, it's Donna. It's, she's right here. If you guys, yeah. this is going to be the most you hear Donna talking in a few Uh-oh. weeks. Uh oh. So either brace Uh-oh. yourself or embrace yourself. Right. Ah, look at me. Yeah. I came, up oh, with a, wow. I came up with a tagline for you. You are. I tell you, the, 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 okay. it's, not just for, it's not just for haircuts, man. No. Like that's, I'm, wow. That is some, that's some pretty deep <laughs> stuff for this early in the morning. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all excited. It wasn't too cold this morning. We still have a nice yeah, weather. Yeah, well, I heard it's going to be a little warmer today than it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of yeah. odd for November. I think it, we were already into what they said, uh, what the heavy rains last year by this time and all but that But you fun know stuff. what? And I know, you know, I know the, the global warming is a thing and all that stuff. But I just want to say. What do you want to say? It goes up and down all the time, you know, the climate. Because... I remember in November 1988, 1988. I, I was very pregnant. Okay. And we had a heat wave in November. Yeah. I remember it well. Well, you would. Because it was like triple digits. And, and I miserable. Was like, oh, I can, and I was big and I could barely move. And I was, you know. 88. 88. Oh, 88 was, that's Arizona for me. Yeah, that's Phoenix. Yeah. That, okay. that area. Yeah. I was I well, was big. I was... I was big and uh, heavy, but it was mostly from beer. And, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and so the, the you were traveling. Arizona. Yeah. The the the, the well, road to Connecticut or to Arizona, not Connecticut. I was, I was uh, expecting my oldest, my daughter. Yeah. And I I know so good times. full well that there November eighty eight we had a a heat wave. So for, you're on the couch, you're lounging, for like you, a got, week, you got the fan ten going, days, and it was it was like. Triple digits in Southern California in November. And you remember that miserable so, I'm just saying it, goddamn it's, time. It's not like we're just on this upward trend. It happens off and on. So know? Royce just said good morning. I don't know yeah. if that was actual Roy or you. Oh, I didn't do I'm still Oh, there you go. Perfect. Playing here. Perfect. We had um like I said, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. That's gonna be here quick. It's just a busy day. Look at I even fixed that for you. Yeah, did I, I, t- I, did I, that, did I tell I, you? I noticed that immediately because that's, you know, 
You have no because leg room. You have no place to put you. Yes, exactly. I'll well, say I felt bad. Scrunching, like, scrunching my knees I'm over there. Is, yeah. So I'm kind of like. We don't yeah. want. Well, we don't want you yeah. hurting your knees any more than you always do. Well. Especially on this place. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> well, you know, got to be uh, accommodating. Yeah, yeah. If I had my dream here, I oh, would. Oh, now I can see what people are saying. Oh, Hi. God. Keep it cool, guys. She's back hey. on. Oh, yeah. If I had my dream, Donna, I would have these all over. Yeah. There's a there's a good setup where you put it in the center and four come out. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Cool. I need to win the lottery and really get yeah, that that's... really get that happening right here. Yeah. First, first you got to start off by buying a ticket. That's the thing. Because I always say, why well, I, I need to win the lottery, but I never buy a ticket. So well, they, I used to play the Mega. It's not being very committed. I to used it. to play the Mega twice a week. Mm -hmm. But then they upped the price on them. Oh, used to, yeah, be, a, used to I, be a buck a line, so I, I just, never really won anything. Wednesday so was I like five of... bucks. I win like a ten dollars, fifty. I mean, nothing, oh, but wow. it, it's five dollars, you know. But now mm -hmm. it's like two dollars for a line, and that's yeah. not math. I'm like four bucks a five. It's easy to give someone a five, right. and just say, just give me the quick pick. Sure, and sure. You get change back. You got to do yeah. the math. You're like, this is all I got for my money, and like you yeah. greedy, you greedy son of a bitch. I don't think I ever won anything except another, uh, like on the scratchers. I won another ticket. My mom and dad got on a roll back in the day. They were winning yeah, like $1,500. Yeah. Oh, wow. And yeah, the Super Lottery. Oh, they were killing I think, it. I think uh, my mom and dad won a few hundred bucks Yeah, once or twice. I, I don't I, think I've won nothing Nothing triple digits. I've so won think, 20, 30, maybe 50, but that's I think it. you have to get to your 70s at least before you start winning, <laughs> Before they allow apparently. you to make... You know, they want you to have all of it that you can't spend. Right. We're, we're still in our spry years yeah, here. We can, yeah. we can definitely spend that well, money. Yeah, I could use I could use it, sure. <laughs> we could definitely use it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, look at yeah. we're, we're already cruising through Donna Main. It is yeah. seven twenty seven. Okay. It's Roy and Jimmy in the morning. Jimmy and Donna Main with you. We are here. So we're here. Uh, Tuesday keep chat morning. Tuesday morning. Keep it's chatting us up on YouTube. Outside. Or give us a call at 909 509 4063. We're coming back at you. Chat us up. Welcome back to Roy and Jimmy in the morning here with Jimmy and Donna. That's me. And here we are. Yeah, yeah. Live 365, YouTube, Tuesday morning. Oh, and... You're always such a gracious host. You, you gave me a good intro right there. Oh, thank you. It's thank Jimmy. You so much. <laughs> Jimmy. That's perfect. Jimmy. How do you want me to bring you up? Yeah. Nicely. Just, just do it nicely. Well... Exactly. <laughs> just, uh, I was going to nice. make, I've had some interesting um, what was the, intros uh, lately. What was, was the, it? what was that one in uh, Palm Springs? You said oh, it was one of your favorite was, that ones. That was great. That yeah. was great. That was last year, which actually was, it was last November. So it was a year ago this month, the first ever Palm Springs Comedy Festival. Right, right, right. And um, it was interesting because they brought up, like 50 comics each day, Saturday and Sunday. A cavalcade, a cavalcade of comedy. It was the longest open mic you've ever <laughs> been to. And, and, we, and, we've, um, and we've been to those. But I kind of lucked out, I think, because I was up on the second day, the Sunday, and uh, our host that day was Tommy Rose, who is a very, very well-known um Drag performer. I was going to say drag uh, queen, cross dresser, drag queen. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, and which is really the essence of Palm Springs. And, these yeah, days. Yes. and she is funny and amazing, and has like the you will not believe the costumes, the wigs. Oh my god, it was and it's so, so entertaining and it's so realistic. And 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 what and she, you know, she was our host. That day, and I was really jealous of her makeup and everything, but um, he, he, it, she was. She is a little bit uh, plus size. <laughs> <laughs> so so it, when, uh, when you say plus size, are we talking like Roy in a wig, or are we talking like a, a broad shoulders kind of? Oh, kind of like Roy in a wig, <laughs> kind of in that <laughs> That's ballpark. Hot. Yeah, that's hot. 
And, uh, but the, the gowns and everything. Oh my God. Amazing. Dress better and, than um, you. Oh, <laughs> which is more Not upsetting. Even, I can't even come close to this and the makeup and the every, you know, different wigs, yeah. every, every, every 100%, so, yeah, every so many comics, she would change costumes and everything. Oh, she, she did like, Fantastic. A, like a Reba McIntyre every yeah. time she hosts come out in a different gown. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So when she brought me up, she said, uh, yeah, I forget whatever else I they've said about me, but she said, and here she is, skinny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you, and I said, that's one of the nicest things anyone's that. ever said about me. Thank you. <laughs> the best one I had. The best one, I my favorite one was my worst one. Yeah. Um, I did a show at the Ice House this back in the day, and this, this guy named Peanut was the host. And he would give away, you know how sometimes they'll, they'll give you a drink ticket or yeah, five bucks for gas, you know, yeah, whatever yeah. kind of thing. This guy sure. was giving away like packs of socks, really? you know, like Walmart, that kind of thing. And But he had a full plate. Well, a, that's a, different. It's way different. Socks. Full room. Well, someone complained about the drink ticket. Very practical. Off stage. <laughs> it's so practical, right? Keep your feet warm. Like what, Lieutenant Dan? Yeah. Yeah. Keep your feet dry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So before I came up, I guess it, it, while well, the comic was up before me, he's outside and someone complained about the free drink ticket or something, and he got so mad, this peanut guy. Mm-hmm. So by comic finishes, I'm next. He goes up there, and he starts ranting about uh-huh. the audience. Uh-huh. You guys don't know what I got to do to put a show on. You guys get a free drink, and I'm not making any money on this. And he's just blasting everybody. Uh-huh. Just had enough. It's like Somebody it, was mad because they only got one free drink? Whatever the story is, it pissed this guy off. So he took uh-huh. it out on. It's like uh, like when we were younger. You, you, you brother, you, sisters, brother, and I had a big family too. So one's in trouble. You all get in trouble. Mm. So we were all in trouble because of this guy. Mm. And he's on and ranting and ranting. Mm. I'm next, and I'm like, God, oh no. And mm. he, so, ten minutes of ranting, and then he goes, Jimmy Shaw. <laughs> <You're> like, great. <laughs> By the time he was done ranting, half the audience left. And this is over in stage yeah. two. Oh, sure. Yeah, this is in stage two. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you. There's not many people there. And I was like second to last. And the guy last is sitting there. And I think he came with his mom. And he's sitting there scared as hell because mm-hmm. I believe it's his first time. So that was my worst, but my favorite at the same time. Yeah. Pissed off. Fuck you guys. Burr, burr, burr. Jimmy Shaw. Yeah. It's like, it's well, a great uh, intro. You can bring me up that way. That, that's yeah. fine there. That's my favorite. Yeah. That, that'd be my favorite. Roy has been uh, brought up as a bear, cuddle bear. Sally okay. Mullins like to br- bring him up as a big cuddly bear. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is sweet. Yeah, that's nice. Sally calls me. And the, it's the way they do it, too. I yeah. mean, I, you got to have energy. Well, Sally can you say can't. anything, and no, it's a great intro. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying uh, for people that don't know how to host and bring people up. I mean, <laughs> Roy, Jimmy yeah. Williams, yeah. The, and the second favorite is when me and uh, Sean went down to uh, Fullerton and did a show, and the guy... Uh, um, Johnny Flowers. He, uh, I introduced him to Sean. I met Johnny before. And he gets up to introduce uh, Sean, and he calls him a good friend of his, Jimmy Williams. <laughs> I said, so that makes me Sean Shaw. So, right, there uh, yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. so the, 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 again, a, yeah. a, a few of our favorites but right at there. Le- okay, at least when, you, when you're a decent host, you know that you kind of, you give, you know, some credits, you give a mm-hmm. little background on the person and then the last thing you say before you bring them up is their name right but i've had some experiences where the host doesn't know how to do that and it just it just flubs it yeah like they'll say oh and i'm gonna bring up donna next and blah, blah. and then they do this like stupid trailing well, rambling I, I saw, I saw stuff her at the improv and, and, and she's I'm, she's parked outside and, and it's like what and her hair is done by on the, the by yeah. eugene on saturdays and, and then, the, and then like, the, it's like so and then it's it's so low energy because they say your name early on and right. then it trails the build-up's off gone. the build-up's gone yeah it trails yeah. off and then you're like and okay now i go up yeah, it's it's, they, 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 it's like a, yeah, yeah. it's like having the foreplay afterwards. It's like yeah, you, you yeah. didn't build it's, up the, this gal. Gotta, she is hilarious. Exactly. I've known her for years. She's been at the Improv, well, that's the, way the Ice House. You and she does people. a morning show. You're yeah, gonna love her. Yeah. Welcome to the stage. Hilarious, lovely, and talented. Bam. Then you, you bring say them up. The name. That's the last, the apex of it. Right before exactly. you bring them up. Exactly. That's yes. 
All right, we're going to switch some roles here. Me and oh, when no. we do this, we 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 switch roles. We uh, role switching. We do that role switching thing. We got to spice up the morning there show here. Go. So I'm going to do a little yeah. weather here with not Donna Maine. Let's start okay. off with. We're going to go to my hometown of Waterbury, Connecticut. Currently, it is light rain, 37 degrees, a high of 38. So winter is upon them. Right here in uh. How Donna says at Rancho de Cucamonga. Mm -hmm. Currently, it's 58, partly cloudy, a high of 85. So, yeah, you're right on that one, Donna. It's going to be uh, still warm out yeah, here. Yeah, they said it's going to be a little warmer today. Sedona, Arizona. Currently, it's sunny, 56 degrees, a high of 70 going on right there. <laughs> and one more, because uh, she did check in, Kimberly Black. Corpus Christi, Texas. Currently... Rain and windy, 36 degrees, a high of 48. Whoa. Whoa, did you guys make the switch? Dang. And like Whoa, I said, my buddy yeah. north of uh, north of Austin, he said down in the 30s, 40s, light snow drifting last night. And uh, his, his uh, comment to me was, I did not move here for this shit. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it just keeps it interesting. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I was thinking about going out there soon, but I'm like, hey, yeah, my, my family and... Uh, my family my in Connecticut in a little Austin snow. I'm, I'll see you guys around spring. We'll, we'll keep yeah. this more springtime. So, my uh, uh, my friend Richard is going out to Corpus Christi tomorrow. Oh, it's, that's going to be a little brisk. <laughs> going to be a little, yeah, yeah. That'll be a little yeah. brisk there. And then I have, you know, I have some relatives that recently moved to Arizona. Yes, you did. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how it is out there. But somebody else I, I ran into recently was telling me uh, the prices of houses in Arizona are coming up now. Like because everyone, yeah, because everyone's all, coming in. They said how many thousands of people left California uh, last year? I just saw, saw an article about it recently about how many people left California, and a lot of them go to Arizona, and well, so yeah. now the prices are not as cheap as they were. Yeah, Arizona's so, getting there. It's uh, currently yeah. 67 in Phoenix, a high of 81. But they will do that change. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I would go to Arizona for the Thanksgiving holiday, and it was mm -hmm. pretty darn brisk. Once in a while, you well, have they, a hot um, one. Yeah, it depends on the the higher, higher elevations there, too. Oh, yeah. They do get snow. Well, like snow. Uh, where uh, Lisa and, and Ron are, yeah, yeah. That, yeah the Flagstaff so, area, that's where it gets a little brutal right there. Uh, so so we're, we're, we're gonna What's we're gonna pick you up and guys? throw you. We're gonna What's pick you up and throw on? you into the copter right there. Uh, quick, okay. uh, quick live traffic update from uh, Roy on the road, uh, mm -hmm. 60 east at Pedley, cruising at a nice 65 miles per hour. Wow, well he is in the right spot. You left at the right time, buddy boy. Yeah. Well, right now we have a sig alert. You need to name the copter. Oh, I'm sorry. We I didn't name the copter. I'm flying. <laughs> you, you are I'm you, flying you are command in... central, Donna. Wow. You you get to name the copter and everything. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> I have um I am now in the Roy and Jimmy in the morning skinny bitch helicopter. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Your trademark skinny bitch on that one for you. <laughs> Today it's my skinny bitch. Today helicopter. is skinny bitch day. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh we have a SIG alert on the 15 North at Highway 138. Uh, it it does not look good. Two right lanes looks like are are uh, blocked, and there's a lot of red going up there. No red. Which is, yeah, be careful, guys. I'm looking <laughs> right now. 210 West. I don't know. There's always a lot of red spots on the 210. We have. Hmm, Right here at the 15 and the 210, down to 17 miles per hour. Not the double digits in the morning. It's not yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's moving, but it's moving slow. There's, yeah, Archibald, 18, sometimes, oh, down to 13 miles per hour. That's all in our little area here. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse you. My voice. Roy's calling and it. The, Roy's, uh, Roy's, 210 West. Roy's calling it the drag copter. Drag queen copter. You Drag can do that queen one copter. Oh, okay. I, like the, I like skinny bitch. Yeah. yeah. Either or. It works. Uh, there's an accident. Actually, it's the 210 East. My faux pas. Uh, at Irwindale. <laughs> Fancy words. In the Azusa area. Accident in the two left lanes. And then we... This is all along the 210. My God, this is crazy. And I don't think there's an accident, but just... Uh, 210 West, once again, in the Pasadena, Sierra Madre area, down to 13 miles per hour. And that's typical right there. Yeah. 
So not, nothing too yeah, crazy. I'm looking for any, uh, looks like there's a, a crash has been moved to the side. Oh, this is the 60 West, Mr. Roy. Oops, oh, sorry. Oh. We ran out of fuel. At, uh, I'm trying to see what the street is. I can't see. And Don, she says she's glad mm -hmm. she doesn't go in early. Roy gives an update. 60, uh, 60 eastbound mm -hmm. valley. Slew down to 18 miles an hour. Give us okay. one so of these. This is 60 west in Moreno Valley. There, There's another accident. Uh, 57. Oh, boy. 57 south at Imperial Highway. Crash moved to the right shoulder. Another one. It looks like a stalled big rig in the right lane. Uh, and the 5 north in orange county between well near buena park yeah yeah okay yeah. okay guys there you go good luck everybody yeah good luck out there <laughs> <laughs> good luck out there like uh, uh dawn says she's uh, glad she doesn't go in early today by the time yeah. you do leave oh, yeah. when you leave in like in a half hour or so at least some of that the craziness is out yeah the the bad one over there by azusa irwindale is is um in the eastbound right now eastbound well that's yeah, a, that's a yeah, rare one yeah Unusual, but yeah, got yeah. a few accidents, stalled big rig out there. I would say, you know, get your coffee and go back to bed. <laughs> just, just stay, just stay up there, Don. Yeah. You'll, you'll be fine. Yeah. Can I have those post-it notes? I want to try something. What are you doing? I want to write something down. I want to try something I found uh -huh. on, uh, 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 on uh -huh. a Facebook feed. I want to try that with uh, me and you today. Okay. And it's from our gal, uh, Kate McLeod. Kate McLeod, actually, Kate from, McLeod? from our old uh, beginning days here. Oh, okay. And I want to give that a try in a little bit. Uh, Don, nope, working from home most of the day. Good girl. Good girl. Stay in them bunny slippers, oh, baby. Oh, nice. Robe it up. Nice. This here, let me see if this works here. It's called, she put down there, uh, she posted there, please call this phone number. I can't be the only person who knows about this. What? Call if you love the 80s. Call if you love the call 80s. Call if you love the 80s. I'm going to call because I, okay. I do love the 80s. So let's see. Yeah, you know, I actually started my Christmas shopping yesterday. Good girl. And I saw like, I was looking for silly things. And I and I saw like a little trivia game about you, the 80s. Did you find any uh, butt wipes or anything? No? Are we all Not out? yet. But we you'll, all be, you'll be amazed. Holiday butt wipes? You'll be amazed at what I do find. <laughs> all right. So here's the phone number. And it says, call if you love the 80s. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give it a call. And let's see what this is all about. Welcome to Call the Notes, your emergency Hall and Oats helpline. Oh, the Hall and Oats number. Do you one-on-one? -on -one? Please press one. We did, that, we did that last year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your, your Hall yeah, of Notes phone. It. Yeah, we yeah, heard this We before. did that. Yeah. Well, I'll give it up for Kate for giving us suspense. But yeah, That's you nice. call in for your, your Hall of Notes fix. The sound quality is amazing. But it, it totally sounds like it's supposed to on the phone. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a... It sounds like we're in the middle of podunk somewhere. <laughs> I still can't believe this number is still active. It's been around like for tons of years, at uh, least what 10, 15 kind years. Of fun. Kind of fun. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we'll stop that there. Okay, go, all right, so Kate, good do... one. You got me. So today, today is being... November twelfth, Jimmy. Yeah, it is the twelfth already. This is kind of an mm, it's it's an interesting day. Uh, I don't know some of these uh, special day. The days of associations are, are kind of odd. Right, right. I, I, let's see. Today is Chicken Soup for the Soul Day. I, I don't know what to do with that. It's uh, well, you know the series of books. That sure, it's, it's very inspirational. Inspirational, very yes. Positive, people, right? people love it. Yes. Yeah. And and yeah, you know, no, it's that's nice. That's a nice thing. But then it's also Fancy Rat and Mouse Day. <laughs> what now do we do with that. Where the hell? <laughs> I'm going to click on that in a minute to see what that say, is. Do, because do, fancy, fancy rat and mouse day, what makes, a, is that like Mickey a, and Minnie? Or a, what is that? You put a little tie on them? Yeah, yeah, something. It's National French Dip Day. Now, I can get behind I that. I get that. I love I French like dip. a good French dip. Yeah, absolutely. And National Young Readers Day. That's cool. That's all good. But then uh, we don't, we really don't want it. We don't want this one. World Pneumonia Day. <laughs> we're not celebrating yeah, I, that. I had that last year, so yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm good. Not, it's not so, yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna see here. Fancy Rat and Mouse Day. I gotta put, oh, you, I gotta put your music on. There is an American Fancy Rat and Mouse Association. Oh my God! Wow. What what are they talking about? What people do we have to really, do? People really need something to do with their time. This is this this is really. Oh my God! People get into this. It's called Affirma A F R M A American Fancy Rat and Mouse Association. Welcome to Affirma. The American Fancy Rat and Mouse Association was founded in 1983, and is a nonprofit international club. Nonprofit. Well, okay. Anyone that has an interest in rats or mice can be a member. <laughs> you need to start playing Ben. Right. In that damn no song. kidding. Uh, the oh boy, these so they have competition shows, which are similar to cat, rabbit, or dog shows, and the animals are based on official standards for each type of rat or mouse. Now I've so heard what, I've heard like yeah. in uh, like Manhattan, New York City, they're. They're like cats that big. And I would yeah. be, if if me and you are walking down the street yeah. and one of those babies showed up, you mm. are going to be on your own. I oh will be God. on top of something. This would give me nightmares. I would jump on the, a mailbox, a newsstand, <laughs> Just, your shoulders. I would be the hell off the ground immediately. They, they say they have information booths at several events around Southern California during each year, including the America's Family Pet Expo every year in Costa Mesa. Oh, now I think fancy, I, I think that's a I've fancy gone, town. Yeah, well, I think I've gone to the pet expo maybe once it, when it was at the Pomona Fairgrounds. Right. I like to look at the kitty cats and the dogs. Sure. I'm not really into the rats and the mice. You, you skipped out. You skipped out on the rat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they have rat standards and mouse standards. Rat colors, markings, coats. New no. new rat new rats. I guess these are like new hybrids or something. Uh, <laughs> the twenty twenty hybrid fan, rat coming out. Fancy yeah. mice. Fancy. They have fancy mice, which means they they have different uh, divisions like standard satin, long hair. Yeah. Frizzy. Fancy have, guest. Fancy they have regular mice with fros. Now they we have, have they have hairless. Oh, now, now I will say that I will say that we have a friend. Her, her name is Lindsay, and she has a pet mouse, mm. and takes the pictures and the selfies like we would do with a dog or a yeah, cat. And yeah. I just get the I get all just creeped out on it, going, "Oh, oh my god!" god. Yeah, well, it, they have I, a hairless mouse. Oh god, that's gross. It's supposed to be pink, thin, bright, translucent skin, free of, oh, scar, skin. Free of scars or pimples. <laughs> you don't want to have pimples. Oh, God. You, you don't want to have pimples no, on you, your mouth. As soon as you said translucent oh, I know. skin, Isn't I was just gross? like, that's so creepy. Oh. No. <laughs> God, like I said, I, I can't even. I will, I can't I will even abandon like anybody oh. I'm with when Rodentia oh. shows up. Uh, Jimmy shows out. I am oh, gone. God. Yeah, it's, oh, and they have articles t- to, uh, to ha- you know, to help you out when you're raising rats and mice, such as rodent <laughs> rodent diseases contagious to people. Oh, that right there. Good that's, to know. That's yeah. It. Good. That's, if that's there's more the, than one, that's where I stop. Yeah, that's exactly. I'll tell you. I'll tell you uh, my my uh, my oh. rodentia fear oh. or phobia. Uh, when I was married, yeah, I um, it was barbecue day, so the wife was going to go barbecue some meat. So I'm in the living room with the with our dog, uh-huh. chilling. Uh-huh. She goes outside, comes in. I hear the, the, the back door slam and the thump, thump, thump. I'm like, what's the matter? She goes, there's a rat in the barbecue. I looked right okay. up at her. Me and the dog looked at each other first yeah. like, oh, shit. And I looked yeah. right at her. I said, well, you, you need to get rid of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She yeah. said, what? I said, roll oh. the barbecue to the front yard. Put a sign that says free. <laughs> oh, no. And we're going to go buy something else. And well, it was at that moment. Now, every relationship has a moment where we are not what we appear to be. That was and the breaking point. So, for you, I, you know, I, I've got a solid frame. I'm 6'4. Yeah. I, you know, I, 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 I show up. When yeah, I show up, yeah, I'm there. You don't look like it says, you a know, Jimmy. wussy guy. <laughs> but I, uh, the, the, you know, it's like a Twinkie outside, yeah. golden cake inside, not a lot of shit going on. Yeah, right. And it ain't good for you. It, it, so, <laughs> She was stunned that that's where she found out her level of man is. Yeah. And she goes, what are you talking about? And I says, so she says, no, we got to get it out of there. So yeah. what I did was I went out to the back window and I looked out at the barbecue through a slat going, mm-hmm. well, I don't see a rat. You'll be fine. 
And did she, you turn the barbecue on? I didn't even go outside. Oh, I just oh. well, she went to turn okay. it on, and she said she turned it, turned it on, and she heard. Eh. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I gotta oh, get out of here. Oh, ew! So the, the go, I've I've had to deal with so to go rats check it out a couple times in my life, so, and I'm like, so oh. me being the, the the protector, the man of the family, <laughs> yeah, go to the back window, look out at the barbecue through a slat in the door, going, I think we're fine. Did you see him run out of there? Well, no? what we did was. Went outside, uh-huh. I got a hose, pulled the hose out, then I stood on top of a bench. I wasn't hitting the ground because it was a rat. Yeah. I said, now open up the barbecue. She goes, you want me to open it? I said, well, you're the one who saw it, so you're fine. So she opened up the barbecue and I just sprayed it. And I was probably like seven feet away. I wasn't getting it closer than that. And it finally yeah. just scurried out. Yeah. And I jumped yeah. even further. I was almost on the roof after yeah. the mouse yeah. took off. But yeah, that, that's my but level. A rat, of, a rat is not a cute little <sighs> mouse. That was my level yeah, of. Rats are Good size. That was yes. my level of manliness. And well, I've had to deal at some points in my life w- with rats either under the house or in the attic. Right. And oh my God, I hate that stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, it gross. I had to get rid of, you know, I had to actually be the one to dump. You sure, you got the some sticky paper or the. In the trap. Well, we had back in the day. That, that it, takes all, every bit of. Yeah, well, they didn't have those sticky. I have. Didn't have those sticky paper things back in the day. So when we were in Fontana, yeah. we'd be like in the middle of the night, you'd hear the trap go, and you're like, "Oh god." Oh, I hate that stuff. Look at that. But I, I did. Ha- I will tell you one quick story. Yeah. Because rats, they don't, they don't normally like to come out in the daylight. No. They hide, like you say, they hide in things like barbecues. Well, as I yes. Well, one time during the day. We, uh, we were watering in the yard, and we didn't know that there was a rat hiding, like, in this light fixture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so we are you know, got the hose out, sprayed this thing. This rat comes out. Yeah. Like, so fast. And at the time, I had my, uh, my really messed up little rescue dog. Uh-huh. He, was, he was a sweetheart, but he was mentally off. Half beagle. Uh-huh. Beagles are ratters. Beagles are hunting dogs, and they are ratters. That damn dog. I never heard of ratters. Yes. The, the sherm. Yes. Go ahead. That, the, that dog grabbed that rat so fast. <laughs> I have never seen anything that fast. Ow. He just, bam, <laughs> killed him immediately. Immediately. Good boy. I was like, ah. Oh. It was, uh, yeah, it was you really. You are the best dog but, ever. Oh, it. It was just his instinct. Yeah. Yeah. He. I don't think he even know what he, he knew I, what he I, did. I you know. Never heard the term rat. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. He. It was just natural instinct. He got that thing that in a you. in a fraction of a second. That beagle was your hero, and, right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Well. You for little, a while. Yeah, little he, rat are he you? He did some other stupid things, but this that rat, it was though, like that. You know, when it's a natural thing. That rat like, took care of all the other problems. Yeah. 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 Look at that. It is 8.05 right here. We're in Jimmy in the morning with Jimmy and Donna. Man, give us a call at 909 509 4063. It's Roy and Jimmy in the morning. It's Jimmy and Donna Main. Oh, and the Beatles. The and, Beatles. Uh, you know, Roy's not here. I gave the you a little Beatles. Beatle. I gave you a little bit. Oh. A little bit. A little bit right there. Oh, right. Look at that. We're cruising through, Donna. Thank 880, you so much. 818 already. Yeah. Right here. And Roy and Jimmy in the morning. Cruising through on our Tuesday to 12. Here we are. Oh, my and, gosh. Yeah, it's part of yeah. our role reversal. Mm-hmm. We it is that time. Oh no! Oh no! I'm going to be so bad at this. And I'm, I'm, put, I'm putting you on the hot seat, Donna Main, oh, no. for today's version of Celebrity Birthdays. Mm. The no, well, let's see first the, of all if I know who the, they are. The November 12th okay. edition, right November here. November 12th. Okay. Now, as I give Roy the the option, I will give you the option. Do you want to be on the clock, or do you want to ponder? Oh man. <laughs> 
I don't think I'm going to put you on the clock. <laughs> just, just by that reaction I, right know, there. It's like I don't even, until I know who they are, I don't even want to Yeah, just, just by that reaction, I don't think I'm going to put you on, on the clock on yeah. this right here. So I'll we go. try not to take too long. How's that? Well, yeah, you know, take the time you need. But okay. uh, I'm putting okay. you, I'm roll okay. switching, roll reversal, roll mm-hmm. playing, mm-hmm. if you will. Uh, so uh, filling in uh, the the hot seat, the buns, the bun warmer seat for Roy mm-hmm. Brewster is the lovely Donna Main. So celebrity birthdays today, November 12th. First up, we have only three. Okay. So that take a little pressure. Three off birthdays. There. All so, right. So uh, first okay. up, I may be way off. It's okay. I, I'm. Uh, I'm a good sport. You know what? I don't like. I, I, I don't like how. You know what? I, I'm, I've got a. I've got a. <laughs> you don't. You don't mind. I have. I have to fact check something real quick because I just saw this and I went. I think Uh-oh. that's wrong. Oh. So as you're getting your brain ready. Well, we yesterday one of our birthdays was uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. This is true. Yes. He was turned 45 yesterday. Can you believe that? I was looking at these pictures because you know we first remember him from Growing Pains. Right. And he was just a. Little baby face. Such, yeah, he was really cute. Such he was a really little, cute. little punk. Uh, now that he's older, I you know some it's like sometimes I think he looks good. Sometimes it's like mm, he's okay. Where gave us the where gave us the puke sound for the uh, the Beatles right there? <laughs> okay, I did. I good thing I correct this because I was off a couple decades on this one here. Oh, okay. Dear. So celebrity okay. birthdays, November twelfth. First one up, Donna Main, actress, America's favorite, Anne Hathaway. Ooh, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Today Anne is her Hathaway. birthday. Ooh. Let's see. Let's take it. I don't know if you can do Roy's formula. If no, you have I don't a formula. think I can. But let me think. Okay, when she first started in those princess movies. Oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Princess Diaries. Oh, she's been around. Yeah, she's been around for a while now. Uh, I will. I'm gonna. Get, she's in her forties. She's in her forties. I'm pretty sure. Um. Let's see. I'm going to die. Come on. I'll say 42. 42. <laughs> <laughs> and just you will not be a friend of Anne Hathaway's Uh-oh, she's younger soon. Than that. She is 37 today. Really? Yeah. Oh. I thought she was because I thought she's been around longer than that. No, uh, accidentally. I, I relate get, things to the age of ages of my children. Sure, yeah, because so yeah, you put in a, like Roy time. does, like Roy does. Back, okay. to, he goes through his youth. I'm sorry, I thought she was. You a will older. not she's, be a friend of the Hathaway uh, soon I'm with that sorry. kind of uh, with that kind of attitude, Donna Maine. Oh darn! And I was going to be in Ooh, her next movie. Roy was close. He said 38. Yeah, he's still playing oh, with that okay, one. Okay, show off. Okay. <laughs> the man's got the gift. I know, you, 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 I know. You can't well, deny the gift. I'm new at this, okay? Mm. I'm new at this. As, Don, as, as, the, as the lovely Don says, Roy is gifted. Mm. And this is, I think, okay. what she meant. I was trying to do it quick. Maybe I should take my time. <laughs> so we, 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 we've got some time, Donna. Okay, okay. number two today uh, from the uh, TV series Friends, actor David Schwimmer. His birthday is Ooh, today. David, David Schwimmer. Schwimmer. David, David Schwimmer. David Schwimmer. Yes. Well, let's see. Let's go for a swim in the pool. David Schwimmer. I know the women in the show, there's a little bit of an age range there. A little bit. Um, David Schwimmer, let's say. Let's see. Okay. Let's say David Schwimmer. He's going to be right... Oh, I know. It's got to be right around 50. David Schwimmer. Hmm. Hmm. All all good thoughts, Donna. All hmm. good thoughts. Let me think. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> like, some, like someone from the great beyond is going to talk to me right no, now. I, I, I have a, a, a Roy. Okay. Roy has uh, entered his answer. A good thing is you're not seeing the chat, so you don't get no, to even go I off of Roy. I'm so not looking at it. Just letting I'm everyone disclaimer. I'm not cheating. Disclaimer, I'm not looking Roy. At it. Roy is throwing. Obviously, I'm not cheating. <laughs> yeah, so Roy's, Roy's throwing his answers on the chat. However, as witness, Donna does not have the chat up. Right, so. right. So Roy has already tabulated his I'll vote. I'll say... I will say David Schwimmer is 51. Ooh, so sorry. No. The funny part is that was Roy's guest too. Oh, wow. Yeah, David Schwimmer is 53 today. Oh, shoot. But you guys were so close. And for you. Now I felt that I made him younger because I felt so bad about Anne. Exactly. So you you kind of learned from that and you adjusted. So both you and Roy, funny enough, had the same. Wow. 
Now I'm going to get this oh, one yeah. set up for you. Number three. Okay. I'll get this one set up for you here. We bring okay. it down. Okay. Singer Neil Young. Oh no. His Neil birthday is Young, today. Really? Neil Young. Ooh, ouch. I just heard some story about him recently, but not his age. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so we got Neil Young today. Okay, okay. He's an old dude. Let me think, let me think. I wanna live. I wanna kill. A minor for a heart of gold. See before I can get one in here. Neil Young. Num November 12th, our last birthday for today. Okay, Roy Roy has entered his answer. Okay, let me think. Seventy-two. She goes with seventy-two. Roy came in with uh, seventy-five. His birthday day, his age today is a whopping seventy-four. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll tell you what, Donna. For your first shot at it, besides Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you did uh, quite well with oh, that. Oh, thank yeah, you. You did quite well with that. Just uh, for uh, you know. I should have. Right yeah, I should have just stuck with like forty for Anne because I <laughs> thought she was right. Just in you know, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. and I know she had a child a few years ago, and I thought, yeah, I thought she was a little older. Okay, sorry, Anne. Sorry, Anne. Anyway. Because uh, she's been doing films for a while, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, Roy, so close. <laughs> he, he, he does not like Neil Young. <laughs> he goes, ah, make it stop. <laughs> oh. And uh, released on this day, uh, if you can believe this, Donna, 1996. Mm. Alanis? Oh, no, no, it's Jewel. Yep. It's Jewel. You were meant first, for me. I thought it was a different song at first. Yeah. You were meant for me. Released. Oh, Jewel. With the, that was before she had her teeth fixed. The teeth fixed. The, yeah, yeah. She had the snaggle teeth and the yeah, what, yeah. Was she a coffee house guitarist. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah just go. to age ourselves, Donna. She's like, we could have seen her at the coffee clutch or something. That's, right. That's how she, yeah. Yeah, so just to age yeah. ourselves, 1996. Yeah, I know. When this came out. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I kind of, re yeah, like I said, I, I kind of remember... Like what the music is, that was around, like my kids were little, you know, right. that kind of thing sticks in my head. Yeah, you're just like, yeah. oh, I, a, I can't believe that is 1996 yeah. for the jewel right yeah. there. So speaking of jewel, I was looking at uh, Leo DiCaprio, Leo, who yes. turned 45 yesterday, and I saw it said something about his next film coming out is Richard Jewel. The movie about Richard Jewell, the um, guy that was the bomber in the the uh, Summer Olympics in Atlanta in '96, right. he was a person of interest. At That's the right. bombing, and it was kind of a, you know, it was like a. I remember it was a weird story, and once again, that was '96. Wow. Um, and I kind of I don't remember. I remember the story, but I don't remember the outcome of the story. Right. But so anyway, it turns out Leonardo DiCaprio is one of the producers of this movie which Ooh. is which is coming out uh a month from now december 13th it looks like a good film so uh leo and jonah hill are two of the producers of this movie but they it doesn't look like they're in it weren't they but, the they um, were in a wolf of wall street together right i believe so jonah hill yeah, and him? yeah yeah but this movie has uh Sam Rockwell in it, who I love, I Sam love him, and he was really good. It, it was that the um, Bill, the Billings, the Bill, three the Billings, Montana, the Billboard movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, and uh, Ariana watched, yeah. and I ended up watching it. It was on because um, uh, we mentioned we when we were talking, we mentioned that movie earlier. That's right. Uh, that was a good movie on FX uh, last season. Uh, he uh, was in the series of uh, Fosse and. <gasps> I want to see that yeah, Michelle Verdict. Williams. Yeah, I want to see it that because was I really love really good. It was see, really I always, good. I've always been a fan of dance and musicals, mm -hmm. and and I've seen some of those Fosse musicals, and I yeah I didn't get to see that miniseries right. 
Yeah, yeah it was, it was a miniseries? miniseries. Yeah, I gotta find that. Yeah, it I should be on uh, on demand somewhere. But it, it was okay. uh, it was really good. But but yeah. it, you know, it's Sam Rockwell. He is great in He's, everything. Yeah. And you know, when I first saw him, was in that movie with Tim Allen and Sigourney Weaver, Galaxy Quest. It was the uh, it was a, a parody of uh, Star Trek and Star oh, Wars okay. movies, and okay. he was a, it was like one of his first movies, and yeah. he was my favorite. I laughed so hard, but then the, watch him come through, uh, like I said. But he he did uh, Bob Fosse, and oh. great, what a great uh, so, series that was. Oh, okay. So, I didn't, yes, I didn't you would see... like that right there. Yeah, I definitely want to see that. Uh, I was looking at this. How much did Leonardo DiCaprio get paid for Titanic? Probably not a lot, right? From back then? Um, I mean, he was known, but he wasn't that guy yet. I think Titanic made him that guy. I don't know why this. the answer to this is not the answer. <laughs> it's stupid. It says he he earned at least $50 million for Inception, Okay. which was later on. Yeah, that was after. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not the answer to this question. Why did you put that there? Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Ariana, she says, uh, Jewel uh, looks, she goes, Jewel looks stinky, but not, not B.O., just like some weird grassy hippie essential oil shit. <laughs> well, and also like she, I think if she looks like she does, she doesn't wear deodorant. Right. And, uh, Homemade. And the, she the, probably uh, is. The wheatgrass. And the garlic is coming out of her pores. Yeah, and, and, and she made that all. And she made that all herself, so she could, uh, you know, yeah. save the environment. That kind of thing. <laughs> That's hilarious, uh, right there. <laughs> and, and Roy, I think uh, she smells like vanilla. <laughs> really, vanilla? Is that because Roy likes her? She probably she, smells like vanilla now, with the the straightened up teeth and yeah, makeup I think that, and yeah, the all teeth, that other the stuff. The teeth yeah. is part of it. Teeth yeah. is part of it because you know she she. Uh, <sighs> It's just something about yeah. She uh, before she when, got her, especially when people start to get famous. It's like you know what? One of the first things you should do is fix those teeth. Yeah, because if you if you don't, and she still had those snaggles, is she be coming in yeah. hot on every conversation? Yeah. You'd be like already backing up, thinking that thing's yeah. gonna wing you right there. All right, we're yeah. buzzing through right here. I'm gonna take our last break okay. right now, so we can wrap it up. We got we do have a few things we want to go through. We do, still. yeah. We are we filling up have... the time here. Okay, so, so right now it's eight thirty one right yeah. here in Rancho Cucamonga. It's we're in Jimmy in the morning with Jimmy and Donna Main today. Yeah, give us a call at 909-509-4063. Keep chatting us on YouTube. We're coming back to wrap this baby up. Alrighty. The master song, the song, the standing. Buzzing through this morning, Donna. This is it is already eight. Wow. It's already eight forty two. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like you just got here. I know. We are no. just flying through here on your November twelfth, Roy and Jimmy in the morning with it's a Jimmy and Donna edition. It is. Today with a uh, Roy and Spirit, Roy in the Road. That's right. He gave us uh he played the birthday game. Yep. He he gave us some live traffic updates. So we were we were pretty close. Did he get? Did he get one of them exactly no. right? No, he was like a year or two right okay. in there. Ba- okay. You guys were even on the last two. Okay. Yeah, he was pretty yeah, close. Was he that... was pretty close with uh, Anne Hathaway. Yeah. And... What, what did he get us on Anne? Oh gosh. 30... Let me look back here. Let's see right here. Nine or something, and it was thirty-seven and all. Yeah, he. Yeah, he was definitely in the range. You. I don't know why. You I got she no, was no. He was only a year off. She must have been very young when she started. Yeah, he was only... I think I was trying to think how old the movies were that I'd seen her in. Yeah, he was only a year off on that. So let me see if we can do this here for you. Let's see here. I think Roy brought that up for you right there. I'm going to need you to do a little something for us. It is November 12th. Oh, my gosh. And... Wow, this, this year... It's slipping away, guys. So We're fast. almost to the middle of November. Yeah. We That's have, how quick. This is crazy. We have left till New Year's, January 1st, 2020. 49, 49 days or 1,191 hours 
That's 71,475 minutes, which comes out to 4,288,535 seconds. <laughs> So here we are. It's a total of 49 days, 15 hours, 15 minutes, and 27 seconds. And a girl, look at that, right on the clock, right on the button right there. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's over there beaming, beaming, Roy. She nailed it. Can you believe that? That's she nailed it 40, right there. 49 days till 2020. Yeah. It's, it's so funny when we do this, it, it, especially these months. Is, they're so small, but then we hit that first January show. Yeah. And those numbers are so so large. You're just like, no, I there's know. no way. I, yeah, there is no way. It just it just flies. Let's see here. Let's do. Uh, the have... older we get, it flies by. Yeah, uh, the box my, office. My, my my mom and dad have told me forever the years will keep flying by. Yeah. And uh, and they weren't yeah they they weren't lying on that one. Right yeah. Here. Do a little box office that happened this over this last weekend right here. Here we go. Domestic box office here. Okay. Uh, we'll do the top ten here. Mm-hmm. Number ten down from five is the animated Adams Family. Okay. Pull it in. Let's see. Which is kind of now? a Halloween movie, basically. Yeah, it was perfect timing yeah, for it. Yeah. So it uh, it grossed four yeah. million for the weekend and has a total gross of ninety one million. But you know, take your kids there, knock it out. Uh, and a, Nine, $9 million or $91 million? 91 million. Oh, the yeah, other, yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the one below it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, number yeah, nine yeah, is yeah. Uh, the, you saw this, you said? I saw this. Down yes. from number six last yes. week, Zombie Land Double Tap. I didn't, I wouldn't picture you as a Zombie Land well, viewer. I wanted to go to a movie, and that was the only one that looked remotely entertaining that was in, it does the, have right, humor, in the right, right time frame. It has humor, Yeah, right? it does. And you don't you don't really have to have... This is the second one, I believe. You don't have to have seen the first one, really. Oh, okay. That, that it's helps. It's so... Like I said, no pun intended. It's so brainless. <laughs> Zombies eat brains. We, we, um, like, we like brainless. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a it's a fun you know a lot of uh, special effects obviously sure and it's a good cast it's just like stupid humor it's uh, Woody Harrelson is in it love Woody uh, what is his name Jesse Eisenberg I'll rephrase love Woody Harrelson yeah <laughs> <laughs> excuse me excuse me. <laughs> Uh, is it? Did I say that right, Jesse Eisenberg? Yeah, I okay. yeah. I think you, I think you nailed it. Uh, and, and they've re- uh, they've returned, right? They've returned from yeah, the, the first they, one. Yeah, they were in the first one, which did I you did see? not. I did not see okay. the first one. But it's but now, just it's a it's a good zombie story. But now, you know? do you want to? Oh, I don't know. I think it's probably a lot of the same stuff. Gotcha. But, but it's stupid jokes, and it's got you know kind of fun. Emma Stone, she's she's pretty good. She's always fun. Uh, and um, Abigail Breslin hmm. is the... She was such a little girl. She was in... Um, oh, my God. The, well, the, I know what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 the movie. I pictured her. Oh, I just pictured her. That was so good. That was so good let when me, she was a little her. kid. Yeah, and I know her. the name. I said it the other day. Holy crap. When is it? It's um, Little Miss Sunshine. Was she that? Little Miss Sunshine. That's Abigail Breslin. Oh, my God. Yeah. And and she's grown up now. Yes, she is. She's still got a little bit of uh, youth, funny teeth. <laughs> <laughs> she's on the grill watch right there. Yeah. She's, yeah, yeah. Her teeth are a little bit uh, uneven. I guess that's part of her <laughs> uneven. Our, part of her charm. Might be the, the kindest description no, we put there. It's uh, you know, it's a crazy, crazy futuristic story. Yeah, little little of, Miss Sunshine. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, but it's, you know, a lot of stupid jokes. It's it's, it's entertaining. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, That's all you need. Yeah. Let's do here. Uh, number eight down from four is Hamlet or Harriet. I'm sorry. Hamlet. <laughs> I'm looking through a microphone here is uh, is uh, Harriet. I don't know what that's about. Number Har- s- Harriet Tubman. Oh, Harriet Tubman. Okay. Now I feel like I said, I said that once too. I'm like, Harriet, what is this? I'm like, oh, oh, no, it's Ozzy oh, it's and Harriet. I, I don't know. Yeah, Number yeah. seven down from three is Malif- Maleficent. Mal- Malif- Mal- Maleficent. Thank you, Mistress of Evil. I believe this is uh, a sequel. Mm-hmm. Uh, number six down from two, that's a big drop, Joker. Yeah, with, but uh, Joker's been out for, what, six weeks? Yeah, six weeks now. Yeah, but it's pulling some money, what, 313 still, million it's total still gross. Strong, still yeah. strong. Number five down from one, Terminator Dark Fate. Uh, with uh, That does have Arnold and um, the original gal in there. 
Linda uh, Hamilton. And let's see, number four opening weekend, Last Christmas. It looks like a rom com there. It looks like a Hallmark movie. It does at the theater, just on the I big screen. Uh, yeah. Number three opening weekend, Playing with Fire. Number two opening weekend, Doctor Sleep. I believe that's a, a sequel of some sorts to The Shining. That is uh, the sun grown up. I don't know. I heard that Doctor Sleep is like getting really bad reviews. Yeah, but it's yeah. supposed to be tagged into the The Shining. And number one for the weekend, Midway. Which a, open a weekend of seven? I'm not familiar. What is Midway? The Battle of Midway. Again? So it's historical. Oh, the the, the original one uh, is is the bomb. But I, I yeah I don't know why they I don't know I just know that one of the Jonas Brothers is in this one. So I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. And in, in the middle of the battlefield, he breaks out into a song. Oh, oh God. I don't know. Stop no. it. I can't do breakout no, songs. No, I stuff. no, I, I'm kidding. I I'm kidding. I don't know much about it. Uh, but I saw that one of the Jonas's is, is, if, is if acting. I'm, if I'm watching anything, a TV show, a movie, and I'm not you expecting know, it, and somebody breaks out into a song, I am disgustingly done. I am out. I don't know why you know, it triggers me. I like it when I it's can't. when it is a you know it's established it's, it's established that it's a musical. If it's Mamma Mia, then I like it. If it's Mamma Mia, yeah. if it's Chicago, if it if, yeah. if oh, it's those, gonna you know it's gonna happen. Some of those translated to film very well. Yes. But you know what's going to happen. But some of them don't. Right. Well, it's, you know, I'd you watch a, know. I'd watch a TV show, Alice. All of a sudden, she's just a waitress in Phoenix trying to make it by as a single mother. All of a sudden, she starts whipping out into a freaking full blown song. Yeah. And you're like, oh God, stop! Just stop <laughs> it. I don't, I don't need this shit. And you're gonna make, you're yeah. gonna, you're gonna sing a song in Midway. I don't. No, I don't think they do. I'll, I'll look it up uh, because I would, I, I would call that South Pacific and watch that instead. Yeah. No, I think it's just another take on. On uh, now, Midway was the the, the 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 first Midway was the best. We're, yeah. we're, oh, I mean, God, we had we had men in there. You know, Charlton Heston, Glenn Ford. I mean, come on, yeah. that's your Midway right there. Yeah, you want some Midway, baby? Right. That's the one you want right there. Well, let's see what it says here. Midway, PG thirteen drama action. Um, on December 7th, 1941, Japanese forces launch a devastating attack on Pearl Harbor. Okay. Uh, six months later, the Battle of Midway on June 4th, 1942, as the Japanese Navy once again plans a strike against the Americans in the Pacific. Uh, and this is um, <laughs> about the brave fighter pilots engaging in one of the most important decisive battles of World War II. My dad was in World War II. He was in Europe. Oh, wow. He was not in the Pacific. He was in Europe. Uh, and where is it not seeing? Are any stars? Critic reviews. Let's see. Critic reviews. Overly long and overstuffed with both characters and battle scenes. Uh, this film, based on the same name, 1976 movie, clearly has its heart in the right place. Right. But it's not much fun to this watch. Sounds, that was one review. This sounds like this version is similar to Pearl Harbor. With Ben Affleck and all that, where it was just yeah, overdone it says, and uh, over romanticized and just weird. Well, with some new young stars in sure. it, uh, it says uh, Roland Emmerich, I guess, that was the guy, is the he director. Did, he did uh, Independence Day. Add CGI and pyrotechnics to uh, a Wikipedia article. <laughs> oh boy! On World War II battle. All right, so just uh, um, just mid- too much. It says right here. Oh boy, I love reading these things. Midway is the new disaster from disaster auteur Roland Emmerich. See, yeah, that's him. so that's kind of mm, painful, kind of painful. Uh, <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> and it stars. Look, here we go. Posing right here, Nick Jonas with a little. Oh come on! A little kind of a Hitler mustache. Come on, he's not an actor. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, but look at that pose. One oh, hand that's on a... the belt. Oh yeah, that. that, that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look like a plumber. Uh, let's see. Looks like that singing plumber commercial. There's no, there's no shortage of heroes like Ace Dive Bomber Dick Best, played unconvincingly, unconvincingly <laughs> by Ed. Scr- How would you like? How would you like to have uh, that as your, your, your review? Unconvincing. You are so yeah. unconvincing. Oh, look at this. Woody Harrelson is in this too? Holy shit. Oh, my God. It says, naval radio man Bruno Gato, Nick Jonas, in a surprisingly more convincing turn than the other guy. 
Wow, so he's saying he's not that bad. So we're going to take a hard pass on that one. And uh, the heroes behind the scenes include Naval Intelligence Officer Edwin Layton, played by Patrick Wilson, and Admiral Nimitz, played by Woody Harrelson. And Vice Admiral Halsey, played by Dennis Quaid. Wow, they got some people in this. Jesus. Dennis Quaid looks a little like the Joker these days. He looks a little crazy. Yeah, he looks a little... Uh, he's like hyped up on 21-year-old <laughs> sex he looks a little, or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, 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 looky, looky, Donna. Look what time it is. Well, here's a picture. Look, Woody, here's Woody Harrelson it. with white hair. Oh, well, that's he's, a he's, stoic. Yeah, and Woody is... He's, we were just talking about him because he's in... Uh, the Zombie Zombieland Land movies, yes. and he's he's a lot of fun. He's a good actor. I like that he does. Yeah. I like he does a bunch of roles. Yeah, different types. Yeah. Look at that, Donna. So it, look, I gotta mention what real, got? what real quick. Go. Thank you, Roy, for the cartoon porn mm. clip. <laughs> I did look at it briefly. You, you always leave her a little surprise. I, I clicked on it. I took the bait. I took the bait, <laughs> and it was. A picture of Snow White, like I've never seen her before, but there were no dwarves involved. Oh, okay. I see. So he he, he tamed it down. It was with an electronic friend. (laughs) Jesus Christ. It was a cartoon. (laughs) I've never seen it. I think it was a cartoon vibrator. No, come on, Roy. I didn't didn't. want... I I couldn't look at it that long. I I looked and I went, okay, that's enough. Come on, Roy. They didn't have those things, those devices back in the day, unless they were, you know, hand crank. (laughs) Like a Model T. (laughs) Or you you just had to... Make it vibrate manually. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess it, I guess it's a good step down from the clown porn and midget oh, porn he God. left you that well, time. Well, it was a cartoon, so it wasn't yeah. as bad. All right, it right. wasn't as bad. Yeah, Roy, Roy loves leaving you surprises just because he says, you got to tell me her face. And I wasn't here when you clicked on it, so I'm glad you did that in the privacy of your own doing right there. I just, I had to look we're, we're, well, we're, when you stepped down. Yeah, where's, where's Jimmy? Down. Where's everybody? Dorsha? Right. Okay, let me look. Okay. Oh, oh, my, oh, my. I'm like, I couldn't help it. I'm like, which cartoon is this? Damn it. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Roy. I needed to know. All right. Uh, it's been Roy and Jimmy in the morning. Just Jimmy and Donna Main. Thanks for yeah. listening in. We had a great time. We'll be back next Monday and Tuesday, 7 to 9 a.m. Yeah. here on the West Coast. So, uh. Uh, no, thanks for listening. Wow. Enjoy 24-7 Classic Rock right here on RJ Radio Live 365. Until next Monday and Tuesday, guys, have a great week. Yes, everybody have a great week. Stay safe out there. Is it a full moon? I think it's a full moon tonight. Uh, Dennis <gasps> did post a picture. so oh, uh, he does, Everybody's been driving like maniacs. He which, does a... Uh, and it's also we're approaching the holidays. So, yes, it is. So watch out, everybody. And uh, keep a... Uh, uh, Be alert. Uh, updates are coming. The Christmas uh, play is uh, in process, so we will announce oh, the cool. uh, broadcast date on that. So uh, nice. tune in that. And again, have a great week. We'll have be a great back. Week. Wrap it up and give us a hit 'em, baby. All right, guys. We love you guys. Have a great week. Hit 'em, baby.